So, why did I join ZCU, you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. Even though you didn't freaking ask. Shut up anyway, and listen. I joined because, well... I've never been in an animation series before, and I know he was real pumped about it from the start. Um, the first episode, or I guess the pilot, you should say, um, wasn't entirely clear to me, but that's... I don't like you. I guess that's just the one thing that made me kind of want to stay away from it because I didn't really quite understand the first episode. But then he was, um, he made a video, um, asking for me, um, if I wanted to join in, and, and at first I was gonna say no, that's alright, appreciate the offer, but um, yeah, I don't think I'll pass. But as we kept talking over on Hangouts, I don't know, I grew to like the like him. It's real funny, smart, I mean, he's like, amazing. I don't think I've ever met a teenager like him before. What is happening? What? What? So, yeah, it just, I guess it, as a friendship grew, I became more and more interested in what he had to say and, um, and his ideas into this series. And um, that's when I changed my mind and I said, um, you know what, let's do it. I'll help you out. I'll be a part of the series if possible. And I will be in the series as my own character. I will be one of the main protagonists. There's going to be a total of three from my understanding because I, I think he wants his little sister to be in, which is totally fine by me. I honestly do not care. It's his series, so he does, he does what he wants with it. So, total of four people, and um, Zom Creep, Zom Creep 12 Universe is uh, it's actually a really interesting story made up by the both of us, um, even though it's heavily based off on Steven Universe, um, if the thumbnail doesn't <laughs> quite um, sh um, prove that already, um, it's actually different than what the thumbnail or than what the you in the universe actually means. We do not have powers, or at least at the moment, I do not know. Uh, I, actually, I don't think we do. And from what I've been seeing, Zom Creep, um, Zom Creep's main weapon will be the Master Sword, which is taken from Legend of Zelda. I don't play Legend of Zelda, so I'm assuming that's where it's from. I think so. I'd like to think so. My weapon will be uh, an umbrella. But I'm thinking of maybe changing it. I'm not sure, but I have no other ideas for a weapon, so I'm just going to stick with my umbrella for now. Or we can make it an axe. No. So, um... Yeah, basically what it is, or what we have so far, is, um... Oh. What the... I need to fix, I need to fix it later. So basically what, um, what we have right now is, um... Zom Creep is, uh... Um, has entered the portal to on it, And he's trying... He's not trying, but, uh, he is overwhelmed that, uh on it um, exists in his mind or in this other dimension that he didn't know know about until Mario showed up at his house randomly. I still don't understand where Mario come from or how that even happened. Like I said, the first episode wasn't entirely clear to me, so I was very lost. <laughs> it didn't really make much sense, but we're going to work on the story. Um, we're going to work on it a lot, the way it all blends out. And so what we have for the second episode is that he arrives in on it, and he's looking around, you know, saying like, this is pretty cool, you know, just 
gadding about the town of on it and then he sees a boy with a gray cap now this boy with the gray cap is not Ness or at least he thinks it's Ness at first but it, when as he gets a closer glance at the boy it's actually not a Ness and so he questions himself as to why this is not Ness I mean this is in the mother universe um, from context clues that's all on it and so he has come to terms that he's in the earthbound universe and it's a, it's very interesting what we have talked about for this series um, what was, I, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else, but I completely forgot. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just continue with what we have for episode 2. And so, at the moment, what we have planned is, the boy tells Zom, um, that's his um, short shortened name, that's what I'm going to call him. He tells Zom that far away there is, an, there is a scientist, a crazy scientist named Dr. Ronald, and he has hit, scattered these ten space capsules, and and you'll understand what a space capsule is. It's basically a time capsule, but it's more advanced. It's very dangerous from my from the description I gave Zom. And all these things are made up by me. I made up um, the town names. I made up the space capsules. I made up Dr. Arnold. He's my character. Those are my towns. Those are my songs for those towns. Half of it is my work, putting getting put into his work. So, anyway, yeah. So Dr. Ronald has scattered these ten capsules, and he is destroying these universes that Zom Creep does not know about yet. Until he gets one, uh, until he gets finds the space capsules, and he's able to travel to these universes. Wow, this is going everywhere. And, um, so what he does is, or what the, he and the boy talk about, is about trying to find one that's actually hidden in the Onnit universe, or Earthbound universe, I'm sorry, in an Onnit cave, um, specifically more as the Titanic Ant Cave, but there's no Titanic Ant. Actually, there probably should be. I'm, I've also been thinking of adding, like, like, even though it's like a YouTube series, I don't know what you consider like a fight, a boss fight, I guess, and and a major enemy fight that is from that universe. Um, ten different ten different enemies that we need to fight that are from those universes. Um, I think that would be really cool to add into the animation. And so, as I talk about it. Alex, um, oh yeah, <laughs> right, oops, my bad, I did not mean to say that name, um, yes, that boy is me, and on it, I'm actually from Zom Creeps Universe, um, the, you know, the Milky Way, <laughs> the normal world, but I knew about Dr. Ronald's plan, because I was there, alright, I haven't told him that part yet, or how I even came into the world on it, but, the way I've, I've, have, I've ha had it planned out was that I actually encountered Dr. Ronald the very first time in his lair um, trying to get the space capsules back and destroy them and to prevent him from obliterating all these innocent universes. When I failed, and so now I'm trying to try again, hoping I can do what I didn't do. But I can't do it without his help. So I ask him for his help, and he nods, because this is new to him, and he wants adventure, and I think it would be a great story. Uh, we've had, we've talked about many other things in the series, we've talked about the dreamscape. Not too much about it though, we haven't really discussed over the visuals of it. But he's made the music for it, and I think the music tells us that it's going to be real chill and relaxed and beautiful. I've. Hmm. I've been thinking about having uh, just visualizing the dreamscape as like a cloudy yeah like up in the clouds somewhere 
or maybe just complete nothingness. I don't know. We haven't discussed too much about the visuals, um, because that part of the animation ser uh, of the series will not happen until later, probably close to the very end. So what Zom Creep 12 Universe is basically um, is that Zom Creep takes everything that he loves um, and basically just crams it all into one to make his own, well, you know, universe. And I think that's pretty neat. Even though, even if it's somewhat based off on Steven Universe, who cares? I mean, I've had many ideas for an, an, for an, an, an animation series, but based off on Earthbound or something, and who can blame the guy? I mean, if you love him so bad, but but you want to make your own version of it or something like that, then do it. I think you should go for it. So we're t we've been talking about Legend of Zelda, uh, Legend of Zelda universe, Pokemon, and even Steven from Steven Universe. I'm not sure if I really like the idea of that. Um. I'm really not sure what to think of that, but, I mean, if he wants Steven in, I mean, he wants Steven in. Yeah. So it's been really fun talking about my ideas with him, and um, being able to share my music with him. And I don't really care if he re-uploads my music to his channel, I, as a matter of fact, I think it even helps both our channels in such ways that um that I can never really do to another YouTuber I can never share my ideas with he's probably, he's probably like the only person on YouTube that I've ever actually became close friends with and I guess I'm blessed to have him by my side and I'm, I'm, I think he's blessed to have me by his side I'm not sure how he thinks of me being a part of his team his little trio things that going on yeah, it's been real fun. The animation skills and drawing is not the best, I will say that much. But, you know, looks aren't everything. Like, it's, this, it's the story and the, and the way it's been laid out, you know? So we still have lots to talk about the series. Um, I, I still need to um, finish on episode 2 and I need to come up with a story for episode 3. I, so far, I, I've been the one coming up with how the animation series will be. Will be. I, I was the one that um, showed him a script or like a little mini version of what episode 2 would be like and he liked it. He said that he would use it. But I think I probably could have done better with what I showed him. The text was long, but I think it could have been longer, because in all honesty, it was just, there wasn't much dialogue, and that can also shorten how the episode will be. The other part of the text um, was just description and stuff, like a book, you know, how it's got the dialogue, and then it has like all these hardcore details that are somewhat unnecessary for some reason, I don't know. I find those details unnecessary. But I add those details in there anyway. So yeah, I am really happy to be working with Zom Creep 12 on his adventure to be uh, working on this animation series. We, 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 even we even talked about how my voice was going to be added into his, his episodes. And so will be taken care of. I'm pretty sure my voice audio though won't be the best. Um, if you've seen the Smash, if, you, if you've seen the Smash video, I think you'll get an idea of what my voice will sound like in the animation. But you know, uh, it's it's better than nothing. All right, it's what we got. And I, and I'll, honestly, I just think it's much easier. So. Yeah. Like my town. I walked around it a couple of times. <laughs> Maybe not even a couple, but yeah, I built it. All handmade. Brick by brick. 
There's paint everywhere, but don't worry about that. So yeah, that's what Zelman Creep 12's universe basically is. Just a bunch of universes that he um, loves from different video games, crams it into one, and then I came up with the villain and how we need to stop him by collecting all ten of the space capsules that he scattered around space and time and we got to travel to universes to go retrieve them and then once we collect all ten we enter what I named the dreamscape which is basically our minds and we got to go inside to purify ourselves because every person has a dark side to them it's basically the magic hand of <laughs> ZCU? Sounds really weird. ZCU. ZCU. ZCU! So yeah, it's basically that. But in, you know, his way. Then once we purify ourselves, a portal will open and that'll take us direct, directly to, to uh, Dr. Ronald's lair, which is hidden in between all the universes. He controls them. With with those space capsules, he can control what comes in and what goes out of the universe. So in my mind, for, for my character as Ronald, he's crazy, he's a lunatic, very greedy, really mean, and wants everything for himself. He wants the whole... He wants every single popular universe to become his. But, to do so, he needs to add some of his own creations into it, and that's not good. And, with, and all his creations are stored within those space capsules. Whether it be monsters or something else, it really depends. I have not thought about what is actually inside it. But, I'm thinking monsters that he made to destroy a universe and make his own. So it's like, Zomkrete wants to make his own universe, but at the same time, Dr. Ronald wants to make his own. But in the series, Zomkrete learns about him, and then I tell him, oh hey, look, we gotta save the world from Dr. Ronald because he's going to obliterate all his innocent universes. You need to help me. And so we're saving a bunch of universes. It's I know it sounds really confusing right now. Um, there's still a lot to talk over with him. But I have no idea where I'm going. I'm basically walking around and talking at the same time. Oh my god. So yeah, that's what it is. That's what you're. That, that's why you've been seeing those video, uh, Zone Creep Universe songs on my channel. It's because I'm in collaboration with him at the moment, and to helping make his animation series become a reality by providing him with some music and some ideas. And so far, he seems to like what I've been doing for him. So. Yeah, alright, well, I should probably head to Hay now. Um, I'll talk more about it with him tomorrow. And as you know, he does a lot of crap posts and the see you next weekend things. Although I'm not sure why he keeps doing it. D just to be honest, I mean, it just, I think everyone at this point knows you don't really post on the weekend, so. That's just my opinion, though. I, I don't see a need for him to keep doing the see you next weekends. But, uh, and also the time for more crap post videos. I think we all know that by now. So. Yeah, that's what the universe is. That's what we have. We, we discussed a lot, of, a lot of things. Even his sister, Marley. Is it... Mar Marley? Marley? I don't. I never seen a name like that before, so I hope I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing it a correct way, in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> Marley, Marley. I think it's Marley though. I'm gonna think of Santa's sleigh, but without the S. It's it's Lay. So I'm thinking I'm thinking Marley. 
I think he even wants her or she wants to be in it. So, yeah, it's going to be two boys and a girl saving the world. Unless Aaron wants to be in it. I have no idea. I have no idea who Aaron is. <laughs> I've seen his video. I've seen a couple of his videos. But Zom told me that he wasn't going to be in it, so. Whatever. All right. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.